And hello Autodesk Screencast fans. This is the July 2014 update. I'll be your host for the next couple of minutes. My name is Eric Stover. I'm the general manager for Autodesk Screencast. And what I want to show you today uh, is a, a view into what we've done this last month um, to update some of the features of the, uh, the website. So let's take a look. So the first thing you're going to notice is that we've added this new filtering mechanism. So I want to take a, a moment to thank everybody for um, publishing so much uh, content um, on product usage. It's been fantastic to kind of watch the contribution of the community um, so that others can benefit. So today we're already up to almost 2,300 screencasts. So I felt it was kind of important to figure out how best to uh, provide tools to navigate um, this ever-growing um, population of, uh, of knowledge. So um, we present to you this uh, new way to filter. Um, so uh, I think it's probably rather obvious, but I'll, I'll want to certainly walk through some of this, is that you can actually go through and certainly whittle down the screencast based on the product. Um, you can select more if you don't see your product here that you're looking for. So I'll pick Autodesk Fusion 360. And then you can see where we get down to um, around 40 screencasts uh, for Fusion 360 in that product. Um, next up, you can also um, decide to pick on you know, any sort of category. Do you have interest in um, tips and tricks on 3D modeling? Do you want to see what others are doing around presentation or visualization? Um, do you have a bug report you want to log with the team? Um, so I'll pick uh, three-dimensional modeling. And again, we can filter the information down um, even further to just those screencasts related to um, 3D modeling. Uh, you have the ability to select duration. Do you want to watch screencasts that are tend to be tips and tricks that are less than five minutes? Or are you looking for a little bit more comprehensive how-tos that tend to be around you know, 20 minutes or, or longer to watch? So you can select a duration. Um, you can also pick on you know, what kind of skill level of information you're looking for. So I'll select uh, beginner for this example. So again, we're getting to a, a, a much smaller select set of materials that I can, uh, I can look at. Um, you can also pick on a language, so um, you know, whatever language that you're interested in. Um, and again, these are screencasts that are recorded by authors utilizing one of these languages. This, is not, um, this won't machine translate the screencast for you. Um, this is really more of you know, what the author had intended. Um, and then once you're ready, you can um, you know, look at your uh, filtered results and actually peruse them for you know, the information that uh, you're actually interested in. Okay, so let's take it a step further. Let's say you're really interested in how somebody utilizes a particular command in a product. Well, there's a, a way to do that. So once again, I'll select um, a product, so I'll select Fusion 360. And if you go down here, you'll notice this Click to Select Commands dialog. If I click on that, I can actually go in and identify commands that I'm interested in, seeing how others are utilizing. So in this case, for Fusion, I'm curious on how people are, are using the spline command. Um, and so I got various options of what people are up to. Um, I'm just curious about a general spline. I'll say OK to that. Um, and then we filter all the information down to um, all of the screencasts that have um, the spline command used. So if we click on this um, example, um, I can actually show you that if uh, you know, I want to find out where the spline was used in this um, eight minute recording, um, I can go into the timeline search and type in spline. And what you can see is that we automatically highlight in the timeline um, where that command was used. So I can go right then and there and actually see um, what this user did um, as an example. So again, just a little bit of uh, some of the work we've done this month, um, really revolving around this new filtering mechanism to better help you navigate um, all the screencasts that are out there. Um, I'll be back next month with uh, an update on uh, you know, what we're, uh, we're doing next. So definitely appreciate um, all the business, and uh, thanks for being our customer. Have a great day.